Hey Woodlands Church family, Pastor Daniel here, uh, filming this quick video for you on Saturday morning, 24 hours before we'll be meeting again together to worship God in person and to hear His Word. I need to just talk to you about the government's orders uh, to wear face masks and how we're going to respond to that. And the, the first thing I want to say is, is that I know that this can be frustrating to some of us. Um, we feel that there's oppression here, that there's restrictions here that, that aren't fair to us as believers or as the church. And, and I just want you to know I understand those feelings that you have. And the second thing I want you to know is that the elders of the church, the leaders of the church, have not taken any of the decisions that we've made about the stay-at-home orders, um, the decision to keep church or take church online for a short period of time rather than meeting together, and now this decision about face mask wearing, we haven't taken any of it lightly. We've prayed about it, we've um, talked to the Lord about it, we have uh, sought out what is right biblically, and that's how we've made every decision um, up to this point about this. And so uh, talking about this, these government orders to wear face masks, this is what we're going to ask of the whole congregation. We're going to ask when you arrive at church tomorrow and for the short term while we await further instructions, we're going to ask that when you arrive you wear a face mask and that while you're interacting with one another that you wear a face mask. Um, once the service starts, if you're practicing six feet of social distancing from one family to the other, um, we are going to allow you to take your face mask off and, and worship and breathe freely as long as you're practicing social distancing. And then, of course, when service is over, if you're interacting with others, we're going to ask that you put that face mask um, back on and that the whole time you do the very best you can to practice the six feet of social distancing the government is asking us. I want you to know that I understand that there's frustration um, about this. I understand that this may feel restrictive or oppressive, but what we want to ask you during this time is to rise above. As a church, we want to rise above any of this, these political feelings. We want to rise above all of the worldliness that's around us, and we want to fix our eyes on Jesus. And, and that's really what I want to ask you to do as a church, is that we all together fix our eyes on Jesus and not worry about what the, what's happening in the world around us or what the government or, the, or, or what's happening in politics. The other thing I want to remind you about is the persecution that, that the church faces. Um, wearing a mask, in, in my opinion, uh, though restrictive and though um, frustrating, um, is nowhere near the sorts of oppression and persecution in which the early church faced. Think about Paul and the early church in the book of Acts and all throughout the New Testament. Their lives were in danger. Many of them lost their lives because of the oppression and persecution of the gospel. And so we just want to say and ask you to put in perspective mask wearing versus the persecution that both the early church faced and that even some churches in, in Asia, particularly places like uh, China and India, the persecution that they face even today having to be totally an underground church practicing their um, faith totally in secret. And we don't face the, that type of persecution here in the United States. And so all that to say, all that to say this, let us, as Hebrews 12, 2 says, let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith during this time. Let's come together in worship. Let's come together in the word, together, gathered together in a beautiful place. And let's, let's not allow the face mask to feel like too much of a burden or too much oppression and let's fix our eyes our hearts souls and minds on what's important which is worshiping God following Jesus and being led by the Spirit I'll see you tomorrow church at 10 30 a.m.